Fantastic! Oh, kids! Fantastic. This here is the greatest you there! Take a seat! Prepare to laugh your head off, cry your eyes out, and teeter on the edge of your seat with an original tale from Stefan. That I am Reginald the Illusionist, purveyor of the most amazing artifact in Andervale. This fantastical talking head. Catch the act while you can. This show will only remain incisive as long as there are legion soldiers to entertain. Why do I care what tall tales you've heard about Stefan's origins? Try to do something about it if you dare. The fair's full of legionnaires who love no better entertainment than cutting down a source hunter for stirring up trouble. We can hardly walk on the re mi fa so la ti. Oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm trying to prepare for the next show. Autographs will have to wait until the end. I doubt I have to tell you that I am the amazing singing Stefan, the only sentient severed head in Sicile. My audience sings my praises from Hill and Dale. Psst, you, 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 you're a source hunter, aren't you? Oh, bless the seven. Oh, you've got to help me. I've been kidnapped. Uh, uh, pleasure to meet you. Now, please, uh, Stefan has many fans to meet today. Uh, psst, uh, help me. Take me to Reginald's cellar. There I will reveal everything. My word! It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Get on with it, then. Hey, stop that! Fantastic! <laughs> Bravo! Zombie ate your dog? Orc sunk your ship? No matter! You're at Katarina's Fair, a veritable summer home for troubled minds. Won't you take a seat and let our esteemed entertainers whisk you off to a better place? Well, I'm Katerina the Fair, fairest first lady of the fair, of course. I do love making the acquaintance of my patrons, and who knows which of them might become one of my performers. I've an open stage in want of talent, and I've often found the best young performers among the rank and file of the audience. The theatre's fever has overcome you, has it? Marvellous! I do so love a fresh green talent ready to bloom. But I support players, not writers, you see. If you want to perform here, you'll have to find tried and true material. Check the library and see if any of the classics there interest you. I'd love to see a source hunter's take on one of the old standards. Right away, my dear, just as fast as your boots can carry you. You found something decent to perform, I trust, and you've gathered enough actors to do it justice? Speak to Master Chaucer if you're ready for your debut. He alone can adequately prepare you for the stage. Come on! Come on! Can't you hear the stage calling you? Why, you seven? What a tail! My word! Come on! Come on! Can't you hear the stage calling you? My word! By the seven! What a tail! You there! Sit! Stay a while! Right in front! I'll excite you! I'll delight you! I'll beguile you! I'll besmile you! I'm Cedric the Sensational and I'm... I'm... I'm playing to an empty audience! Don't pity me! No, sir! Just a few years ago, I was the all-singing, all-dancing, all-sensational darling of the town. People came from far and wide just to witness my amazing act. When Reginald came, he brought some fantastic prop with him. Have you seen it? A talking head! 
Now, I never expected a silly gimmick like that to be my main competition. It seems even my usually choosy audience has been taken in by that hack's little gizmo. I'm a man of skill, sleight of hand, feat of wit, and pure entertainment. This curio is ruining what used to be an art. And even when there's no crowd to speak of, old Reggie still has at least one fan calling bravo and hee-haw. Sure as the sun sets that one devotee attracts five more, and those five more all curious about the commotion. I don't know how he inspires such loyalty with less talent contained between his hat and his boots than I've in my crusty handkerchief. But I should have brought my... And who are you? supposed to be. Oh, I should have been one of the greats, but here I am gathering peasants to watch peasants perform broadside pageants for peanuts. No, really? I hadn't noticed. If not for this ridiculous condition, you'd know me as the king's favorite thespian. Don't you have an impressive library here in Sizeil? I'm sure that beast of a librarian could rustle something up for you. Katarina's given the go-ahead, has she? Oh, very well then. Tell me when you're ready to begin and I'll show you to your places and gather you whatever crowd of drunken yokels can be prevailed upon to watch you flail. Come on! Come on! Can't you hear the stage? Bravo! Yeehaw! What is it this time? Ready for your trial by fire, you mean? <laughs> There's no more savage foe than an audience, my dear. But I'm sure you'll do just fine. May the show begin! Ready for your trial by... You there! You look like an actor just waiting for his big debut! What is it this time? Ready for your trial by fire, you mean? <laughs> Not planning on playing to an empty audience, are you? Wait until I've gathered some victims to witness the spectacle and then you can begin. Any last words? You hear distant mutterings of curiosity as a small crowd shuffles toward your stage. A few moments longer and everyone will be seated. The stage is yours. Oh, I hope there's an encore. The crowd seems to know the tale. They wholly approve of your beginning. Simply marvelous. The crowd is thrilled. Whatever will happen next is sure to excite them. The crowd seem quite impressed with your delivery. Keep it up. 
crowd gasps. They're on the edge of their seats. Go on. Push them over. Fantastic! Gasps ring out across the audience. They must know how it ends. They simply must. The crowd explodes into applause and appreciation. You've woven them a tale of desperation and hope, and they're alive with the thrill of it. That was really something else. I'll never forget it. Today, I think, a king, the great Sigurd and his rainbow of war machines. <laughs> it is... Hey, stop! Who knew it? me far so loud here. It won't be the. My word! Oh, what you made of? Oh, well, that is enough of that now! Fantastic! Fantastic! He couldn't have sprouted legs and wandered off. Perhaps he's rolled the knee. Hunters, eh? All right, proper. We're finally getting a hand. Things is chaos. If you've got a favourite sheep, best to fry her up now before she gets thieved in the night like me dear plump Ogget, the finest in me herd. Oh, oh, Ogget, you, you're rotten to the bone. Oh, me poor sweet plump girl, you've been wasted entirely. All that roast. All the mutton! Not even the sausage grinder will want her now. Give her here, will you? My little mouldering darling. That louse! Did he even bother grilling a single luscious chop? I bet he wasted every last morsel. Let him rot for all I care. <sighs> this is intolerable. The momentum of time is slipping through our hands, and you fritter it away on conversations about decomposing I bet Tim matter. Fred's been strung up Focus. by his ears by Focus. now, but devilish thing. To what do I owe the repeated pleasure, Source Hunter? Far be it from her to tell her master what in the seventh name she's up to, the girl flew from here like she just heard the location of the Philosopher's Stone. She even left her pouch unattended in the next room. Most unlike her, to be sure. She usually keeps it within sight at all times. Very strange she'd leave it behind. It's in the next room if you'd like to take a look. I'd try her house, for starters. It's not far from here. I'll mark the location on your map. The world belongs to the... She realized soon enough that little... Nothing but rubbish! I guess someone else got here first. Oh, hum. Oh, 
Oh, hum. More junk. Seven, aid me. Seven, have mercy on your soul. This is the end for you! An invigorating fight that was, and what a killing blow you delivered. Cheers. Yes, I handled myself like the best of the best. No need for f Steady, boys. Steady. We'll be leaving as soon as we're packed up. What do you think you're doing?
Ah, a little privacy at last. Out of earshot of that contemptible jester, we can finally speak freely. Where shall we begin? My true name is Nick. In life, I was an entertainer aboard the ship of the famed Pontius Pirate. I once dared to defy him and he savagely beheaded me for the attempt. Little did I know the abuse was only beginning. A wandering sorcerer, mad as the day is long, found my severed head on the beach and resurrected me. I spent months in his company listening to him blather on about his every inane opinion. When I asked him to return my head to my body, it, it must be in the Black Cove still, he became enraged and tossed my head into the sea. Reginald stumbled upon me some days later and consigned me into his horrid little show. I know not how long I've been entertaining slack-jawed imbeciles at the Sizeal Fair. All I know is I just can't take you anymore. More than anything. But the chances are so slim with the Black Cove utterly infested with Pontius's undead cronies. My poor lost body is among them sightless and silent in their vile company. For all I know, they're using it as a coat rack. Traveller, if there were any way you would brave the cove's depths and reunite me with myself, you'd be doing me the only kindness I'd have received in as long as my poor memory serves. That charlatan doesn't have a lick of his own talent. So he begs, borrows and beats it from those of us with a real vision for the stage. What I wouldn't give to give old Reggie a swift kick in the jugglers. Oh, to have legs again. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Get on with it then. <laughs> 